G'day, Jerry here from Succulent Fly Traps. Well, with winter just around the corner and with the temperatures now coming right down, it's time to adjust the way you water your Venus's fly traps. Now, Venus's fly traps <coughs> ideally love to live in a moist, not waterlogged or wet soil, and this is the time now to reduce the amount of water that you give your fly traps. Now, um, hopefully, you can apply this to your plant as well, and by doing so, your plant will be more comfortable during that winter months or the dormancy period and it will be ready for vibrant new growth in spring. So let's have a closer look at my winter watering techniques. Okay, so the first thing I like to do to reduce the water level in my pot is I simply take the pot out of the watering tray like so. Now, because it's been sitting in the water, the peat moss is going to be quite waterlogged at this stage so you're going to have to allow that peat moss to dry out so depending on where you live and the temperatures of where you are um, I, I like to sort of wait around between four to five days before I start to see that peat moss start to dry out but of course what you can do you can just put your finger on the peat moss when it gets around um, that four or five day period and just check if it's still damp then it's probably a sign that it doesn't need any watering still but if it starts to feel a little bit dry then you know that um, it's going to have to be watered so at the end of that period of drying out rather than putting the pot back into the water tray what I like to do is just simply water from the top like so okay so as you do it just make sure that your water uh, in between the traps don't try and water over the traps because the water can trigger some of those traps to close okay and you don't want your plant to spend any unnecessary energy okay so just keep doing that until you see water starting to come out from the bottom of the pot like you can see here okay and that by doing that you ensure that there's water throughout that peat moss and that's got an even distribution of water and now you just simply repeat the procedure you wait four or five days or however long you think it needs to be watered and that's about it that's one of the techniques that i use for winter watering for my venus fly traps